Ebbets staying in Longs, those wanting an RV getaway may soon be able to do so. Our Julia Richardson joins us in studio now telling us what would make that dream possible and detailing the hurdle that vision cleared just hours ago. Julia. Well, Eric and Rachel, planning commissioners gave an applicant the green light earlier tonight to rezone almost 100 acres on Highway 905 for an RV park. There was some pushback on the plan for residents a few months back, but the people I spoke with today say they welcome this proposal. It is much better option than having another housing development go in. Polo Farms residents tell me when they heard about a possible 98 acre RV park across from their community on Highway 905, they thought, quote, could be worse. We've seen huge growth in Horry County over the past couple of years, and we would like to keep some normalcy to the area. And the park's developer, Diamond Shores, has made an effort to retain that normalcy. COO David Schward says the company met with residents in the area to address their concerns after deferring the proposal a few months ago. He says they plan to add an 800 foot buffer from the highway and a turn lane to help traffic. That's going to allow us to keep the trees and it's going to be less um, hectic on the roadways with the normal day to day traffic. Schward also tells me although the park will have space for almost 160 RVs, each lot will have a buffer around it too, giving it a more remote feel. Polo Farms resident Bob Johnston says he thinks this is the best case scenario. The way they have it uh, situated is, is beneficial to everybody. Well, it also gives them peace because they're not going to have 1,900 people coming by every day. And both residents I talked to say they can understand why developers would want an RV park in their neighborhood. It's nice because we're close enough to everything but we're far enough away from everything so that it's, we're a little removed. It's a, it's a beautiful location and I have a camper and I'll be over there on the weekends to camp as well. The, this proposal will now go to the full county council for a vote. I'm told it will not be on the agenda next week, but on the following meetings agenda. In the studio, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.